this video, we're going to be talking about respect. Let's get into it. Before getting into it, is it really worth being toxic when, you know, like you're playing real games towards people online? I get that way too much. I mean, way too much on a daily basis. It's like, oh, Death Star 496, he sucks. Oh, he sucks because they misgender me a whole lot because the way that my voice is. And then one thing that they go, oh, what's in your pants? Stuff like that. That has been disrespectful and harassment. Like, this might be towards the Brawlhalla community straight up, but I don't know. But the one thing I don't see enough is kindness and respect. Because at times I feel like I'm alone in the Brawlhalla community, being myself, being who I am, being openly trans. And then I feel like at times it's kind of dangerous to do. But do you know what I do? I move forward. But I know I gotta show people with respect, kindness. Because in my say says, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Because that's what we can need to do more often. It doesn't matter what your sexuality is. It doesn't matter what identity you are. It doesn't matter what religion you are. It doesn't matter skin tone or your ethnicity. It doesn't matter where you are or where you came from in the world. All that matters is you show people with respect. I understand. There's people that you're really not, that you're thinking. I don't need to show them any respect. They did bad stuff to me in the past. They gave me PTSD. But again, you have to show them with respect. I know that might be hard for a lot of people to understand nowadays. We're going through gaming outside of gaming because everyone's different. But one thing that we're all forgetting about is the fact that how easy and free respect is, because. Again, when I was playing Brawlhalla, all I got from the Brawlhalla community is hate. I got in death threats. They were saying that's a oof for myself. Saying, oh, you're trans and have autism? You're struggling. And stuff like, because he would have beat me inside Brawlhalla, saying stuff like, oh, I'm trash. Some people are that, you just dehumanize them pretty much. You know, you're not seeing them as a human. You only see them as an object, as another thing you can easily beat over and over and over again. It's like a video game that you, that you need a TV, a monitor, a console, a mobile device, or even a PC to play. And everyone forgets about that. And one thing that the Bahala community doesn't like is when people tell the 100% truth. Because everyone makes fun of me in the Bahala community for having less, for having autism, for being openly trans. And then being openly pansexual as well. And then they go and keep on harassing me and then saying, oh, I'm born. And then, you know, inviting me to parties. That's not showing respect. That's showing the most out of respect possible. That's not showing kindness of respect. That's going out of your way to show that you would rather be toxic and a dick and asshole than you're willing to show any other human respect. Doesn't matter if someone's bad at a video game, if they're good at a video game, doesn't matter. When someone's trying their absolute fucking best to get better. Because for me, Brahala computers my brain and the game mechanics of the game, I just don't get half the time. I know, I've done some, done some toxic stuff like party invite spamming, message spamming, but I'm trying to get better and not doing that anymore. I'm willing to try my best to play Minecraft more, do my best of my abilities. I'm willing to become a better person, build on top of myself. But will half the Brahala community? No. They're, they're just a bunch of arrogant people that's not willing to look. Do I say, do I have respect towards them? Yes, because I have to show them with respect. But do I have respect towards me? Nope, not at all. They only see me as ELO as the number that's one and zero, pretty much. Know that? Because if I say that to them, they would just easily leave the party or kick me from the party straight off. That's the way it brought the community is. Aside from that, now I'm talking just basically, pretty much. It doesn't matter if you play video games or not. You're gonna hate someone for being bad for how they dress or how they or who they are. Let's say the identity identity. Let's say they come out to you as non-binary and then you instantly just hate them for it. You have to first understand. If you were in their shoes, in their place, how would you react? How, how would you want your friends to treat you if you came out as gay, trans, bi, pan, or anything like that, part of the LGBTQ plus community? Unless you like someone 
Like, oh, by the way, I have autism. And you didn't know that about him. But like, still good at playing it. Are you just gonna hate him for that? You're gonna hate him for it, then the person's gonna move on and not be your friend with you. In the day, they're gonna show you with respect and realize, I hate that person, but at the same time, they're gonna have to show, like, I was friends with that person, so I have to show someone with respect either way. Because someone respect and kindness, as I, again, we don't see enough. I don't see that was enough. Not that hard to do. It's free, 100% free to do. The only thing on this planet Earth that costs zero money, zero dollars, at all. And if you aren't willing to learn when other people are giving you good advice in life or in gaming wise, then you aren't that type of person that you're willing to learn when you get your, get your first job. You're just not willing to learn. I'm sorry. That you aren't willing to learn how to get better, how to learn, because people like that is what we call arrogant. Arrogant people, or type of people, they are just not willing to learn, not willing to understand other person's point of view, not willing to understand the person first. They would rather only hear themselves and only hear what they say. They want to make sure they're only white. It's like, oh, you're trans. That's bad. That's wrong. You're, you, that's wrong. You're ruining men. You, you, you're betraying men. And I get that a whole lot from the Bahala community. And I just don't, don't understand why that is. Why the Bahala community has to be the way that they are. Hating on people. Part of the LD, LGBTQ plus variety community. I just don't understand that at all. Hating on people with disabilities. Like autism Down Syndrome. And make fun of them for that. It doesn't make sense at all. We'll be getting the golden rule every day and, and it's becoming rarer and rarer and rarer each and every year and every day. But I feel like a lot of people when they're young, parents of the kids, you have to hate on this community or on these people because they're bad. But in, it, but in reality, being gay, being lesbian, being trans, being gender fluid, non-binary. Being whoever you are. It's not bad. Do believe in whatever religion you believe in. I show people with respect. I don't care what religion you're a part of, as long as you're willing to learn and accept people for who they are. I know it can be confusing at first. I know it can be hard to accept people. I know it's hard when changes are happening around you. But trust me, when I was younger, changes were hard for me. I used to get all upset and mad and pissed really fast. But as soon as I started realizing life, it's not worth being toxic. It's not worth getting all upset about when change happens. Change will happen in your life no matter what. Someone coming out as trans. Yeah, I know it's going to be hard using their correct over their preferred pronouns at first. But you have to still tell them with respect and try to understand them. I know, know it's going to be hard to understand when someone starts doing a, starts becoming a vegan or eating certain food or, you know, doing religion stuff like that, believing in religion stuff like that. You still have to tell people with respect. It doesn't matter where you came from, your, where, how you, what your identity is, what your sexuality is, what your race is, your ethnicity, doesn't matter what religion. You still have to tell people with the most respect possible. And I don't see that enough. And it's sad. I don't see that enough anymore. And for the end of today's video, if you're going to be showing, if you're the type of person that's toxic and bullying and harassing people, think this question. Always, we always think about this question. Think to yourself, is it really a word going online and being toxic to other people? Just because of their race, just because of their gender identity, just because of their religion, because of their sexuality, or just because of their disabilities that they have. It doesn't matter what, what it is. It doesn't matter if they're bad at video games or not. It doesn't mean to go out of your way to harass and bully them. It, that does not mean to go out of your way to bully and harass and pick on people. 
online. That's called cyberbullying. If you're gonna be that type of person, then you still even then you still then you should take a break from electronics and think to yourself, how would people view me as a person now? But I treat them fairly. And I did so long with respect when they tried to teach me and I wasn't willing to learn. That's gonna be everyone who's toxic, arrogant. They can like I know for a fact that they're not gonna be making a lot of friends down the road. That's not me being toxic. That's just me in my point of view of how I think people will end up down the road if they're not gonna show people with respect. Because kindness because kindness is something that you have to earn. Depending on the people. But I try to show respect towards everyone. I see everyone as humans, even behind the screen. Everyone has a voice. Everyone has something they have to say. You have to listen to the point of view first, before you say anything. And yeah. Again, I want you, you to ask yourself this question. Is it really worth being toxic online each and every day because someone's bad at a, at a big video game that you play and they're trying their fucking best? Think to yourself, is it really worth being toxic? Being hateful. Here's the girl Evie. If you catch it all in the next one. Goodbye.